After graduating from medical college in Pakistan, Dr. Azim Khan completed a residency training at Cook County Hospital in Chicago, which is the busiest public hospital in the United States. Most of the top-notch doctors in the United States have been trained there. He trained at Northwestern University Hospital in Chicago, where he did his wound healing fellowship with world-renowned dermatologist David Woodley. Northwestern University is one of the best universities in the United States. Dr. Khan trained with world-renowned wound healing specialist Dr. Richard Clark and received training in dermatology at State University of New York at Stony Brook, becoming an assistant professor in dermatology. He is still working in that capacity and delivers lectures to students and young doctors a few times every year. Dr. Khan also trained with two very famous cosmetic surgeons, Dr. Bisaccia and Dr. Scarborough. All of the doctors that he has trained with are authors of textbooks. And Dr. Khan himself is editing a textbook of wound healing with Dr. Richard Clark, ex-chairman and director of tissue engineering at Stony Brook University Hospital and Medical Center. Dr. Khan is the first American-trained, board-certified dermatologist and cosmetic surgeon in all of South Asia. Another thing that troubles all of us as we get older is wrinkles. Tell me how you deal with wrinkles. There are two kinds of wrinkles. One is the kind which is made because of hyperactivity of the muscle. So basically, just like your uh, body muscles, you can have the bodybuilding and your muscles are built, after using them repeatedly, your facial muscles, if used repeatedly, get hypertrophied or get bigger, especially around the eyes. So the crow's feet and on the forehead, whenever you frown, you are basically use, utilizing those muscles and making them hypertrophied or they get bigger. So those are dynamic rightides, we call them. Rightides is wrinkles, dynamic means because of their repeated movement. Those wrinkles can be very effectively treated with Botox. Uh, what Botox does is to partially paralyze those muscles so they take a little bit of a rest and they get to their normal mass. So if they were getting bigger in size because of the repeated movement, now you put them to rest by giving you Botox and they, they become their normal size and that takes away the wrinkles. So that's one way of removing those uh, wrinkles. The other wrinkles are caused by, um, uh, by the aging process, the, loosen, the loosening of the skin. Those wrinkles can be corrected in a different variety of ways. Uh, the most popular being either the facelift, in which you essentially stretch the skin and take away the extra skin, cut it out and sew it back together. The other way of um, uh, getting rid of the wrinkles is using a laser called erbium YAG laser or carbon dioxide laser. These lasers can be used for laser resurfacing. So resurfacing means that you can uh, take away all the ridges and the mounds and make them flat with the skin. So that, uh, that is laser resurfacing. Um, the most effective laser resurfacing in white skin uh, is uh, a carbon dioxide laser. And uh, as you might see some of my photographs of my patients, uh, these, this is a very, very uh, satisfying procedure for both the patients as well as for the physician. Um, that can be done in the lighter skin. In the darker skin, the erbium YAG laser can be used, and it, it can also be done very effectively, and it takes away the uh, wrinkle. Dr. Khan, tell me about your qualifications in cosmetic surgery and dermatology. Um, after graduating from Allama Iqbal Medical College in Lahore, I came to the United States and uh, uh, did a residency in internal medicine at Cook County Hospital, Chicago. Uh, became board certified in internal medicine. Uh, then I did a fellowship training in wound healing at Northwestern University Medical Center and Hospital, um, after which I did a dermatology residency uh, at State University of New York at Stony Brook. I also performed a fellowship over there in wound healing with Dr. Richard Clark. And then, and then I became a faculty over there. I became assistant professor in dermatology, which I am as of today as well. Uh, I still teach there. Um, after that, I actually uh, did a fellowship in cosmetic surgery with Dr. Emil Bisaccia and Dr. Dwight Scarborough. Uh, Dr. Emil Bisaccia is a professor of uh, dermatology at Columbia University Hospital and Medical Center. Um, I am board certified in internal medicine 
uh, board certified in dermatology and I have uh, performed a, a cosmetic surgery fellowship which is approved by American Academy of Cosmetic Surgery. Well, Dr. Khan is a very accomplished clinician, uh, uh, clinical scientist and, and surgeon and I, I, I suppose the most significant thing I could say about his clinical care is that I would be most happy to be under his care and I would be most happy for my family to be under his care. Dr. Khan is one of our uh, uh, very accomplished graduates. He's done his additional year of derm surgery cosmetic dermatology training. Uh, prior to that he spent many years working with uh, research in this department with Dr. Clark. He has boards in medicine and dermatology in the United States. Uh, which is more accomplished than I am. I only have boards in dermatology and the dermatoimmunology. So he is a very accomplished physician with uh, a very extensive training both in der medicine, dermatology, and dermatologic surgery, including cosmetic dermatology. Tell me a little bit about Cosmetique in Lahore, Pakistan. I always had the dream of creating a state-of-the-art center of dermatology as well as cosmetic surgery uh, in Lahore where I came from. Uh, so to pursue that dream after after staying in the United States for about 15 years, um, uh, we have been able uh, to create such a center uh, in which uh, we have uh, tried our best uh, to pick every single thing from a needle to a laser uh, um, and we have uh, paid attention to the finest details that they are the state of the art and they are the finest uh, not only in Pakistan but also um, uh, you can compare them with any standard uh, international standard uh, by any international standard they are the uh, uh, they are the best um, as far as the equipment goes so it's uh, the state of the art um, uh, I would say uh, ultra modern best equipped facility uh, not only in Pakistan, but also in the whole uh, South Asia uh, Asian region. I can I can almost uh, say that without any doubt. Um, also, the staff is being trained and picked by me, and I have uh, paid um, um, attention to the greatest detail that they do the things right and at a standard which I am used to in the United States.